This is match number five for the evening. Lightweight, six rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting from the blue corner. Introducing Nick Otiano. Fighting from the red corner, Gabriel O'Chiang. Okay, the judges for this fight, judge number one, James Kitasi, judge number two, Zawadi Kazungu, judge number three, Leonard Wanga. The referee for the fight is going to be Charles Olo, timekeeper Ruben Odipo, supervisor Eric Owango. Times, no hit to the belt, clean fight. Any question? May the best boxer win. Shake hands. Ladies and gentlemen, it's fight time! something I noticed about uh, Gabriel of course right there he didn't want to come on the same entry as Nick mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of moved on the other side like yeah he's, he's, bad luck on my side. he's using his feet which is very important 
for guys who have been this long in the game, they're really doing well to move around. Yes, uh, now we are good, we are good, we are good, we are good. The legends are fighting and they're doing what they're doing. Oh, and you can see the incredible That was a close exchange. I like that uh, Gabriel is exiting out, you know, pivoting off uh, Nick's lead foot. Yes. Yeah, like I said, they, you know, I call them legends. Someone will be asking me, why are you calling them legends? Like, these guys have been in fights. For they have a lot of experience. They have won titles. Yes, it's been 18 years of fight time between them. A combined 30, 32 fights, uh, years experience. Nico Tieno is working behind the jab. And he's trying to crowd uh, Gabriel's punches so that he can get on the inside. And he's working, he's coming in with a jab. Yes, and, and, and actually, I, 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 this is actually their third time they're facing each other. Oh, so they sorry, know each I had other that wrong. Well. I had said fourth, but... Uh, oh, okay. it's the third time. Nice lean away by Nick. All I think uh, the, uh, Gabriel has a very good idea of taking the outside foot on uh, Nick's uh, left foot. He's, he's actually, he's actually oh. managing to learn something when Nick comes in. But uh, whenever his foot is inside, yes. he's, he's, getting, he's wow. getting hit. Even exiting, you can I see can it's see very what you do. Yeah, he kind of just uh, attached to the, of course, the hook and escapes on the other side. I like that he's going to the body, you know, not just head hunting. <laughs> a little like, bit of oh, shot. you see that? You see that? You see that? What happened? I think there was a miscommunication right there. Someone ran so something. Much, oh, it ended up confusing the two fighters. I don't know. Somebody just did uh, miscommunication. I think security should take care of that. Nice Sometimes uh, the crowd gets to be crazy. Huh? Mm -hmm. Nicotino is working behind the high guard shield defense. But he's moving around, which is, which is uh, very good for. He's not trying to stand in there and just throw empty shots. Yeah. He's moving around trying to find angles. I, I think I think the fan that did what he did right there to confuse the fighters, kind of messed up a little bit. Of course, an opportunity for one of the fighters to maybe get uh, yeah. some points coming. So it's in irresponsible through. behavior, and uh, but I think more people will be educated by the time we do more of these fights that. It, uh, sometimes it's best to give your full attention, yeah. stop with the theatrics. My full attention is on round two. Yes. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know who you've got uh, in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I love it. The director don't, knows what I don't, mean. Don't let your intrusive thoughts win. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about the what scoring for the man? first round? Uh, but I, think, I think that got me a, a little bit of... Um, uh, confused with uh, what just happened, but mm. I, I, I like how Gabriel has been, you know, trying to fight, you know, try to throw in some hooks and jabs. Uh, he's really been, of course, uh, doing amazing with the flow of the fight. Yeah, uh, I think so. I think Gabriel, I'm gonna just go give it to Gabriel on my side on the first round. I, I, I could argue for Nick okay. because I feel he did the cleaner work down the stretch, mm -hmm. but it's a toss up. It's a toss up. Ah, I love it. So now he's, this he, is round two. Yeah, he keeps sticking the jab out there as he's trying to make his way in. That was oh. a very ill-advised because he threw that and immediately went off balance, which gave Gabriel, Gabriel enough time to move in. Oh. Yeah. If he actually striked in with that right, then boom, he would have been down. He's, yeah, now he has him pinned to a corner. I think he has a very good... Uh, opportunity to lock him in, yes. but uh, he is very good at exiting out. Out. Uh. I think Nick needs to kind of focus and uh, check the idea that Gabriel is putting on on this fight. Yeah, because Gabriel seems like he really knows every single move that Nick is throwing in onto him. I, I think, despite having the high shield defense, yes, you should try employ more parries, like try to create punch traffic so that more of uh, Gabriel's punches meet his arms and uh, you, they don't get to the target. Oh, come on now, he's gonna put, of course, uh, Gabriel just tries uh, maybe to push him down. Okay, so he hit him in the yeah, back the of the head, like, which yeah. is not allowed. The ref uh, is making it clear that he won't allow that. 
Okay, sounds like he's a pointer, gonna be lost there. Leaping right hook by Gabriel. He's trying to corral him into his uh, left hand. And you can see that it landed, which had uh, Nick going, you know, going down the level. And the good thing, the, the height is a little bit of good level, huh? Yeah. A little bit. And oh my goodness! Gabriel fight, goes with an uppercut. Yeah, I like the success he's having him. exiting out yes. from the right. He's, he's doing a good job not allowing himself to get pinned on the ropes. I think what, what uh, Nick should do right now is try to again, he kinda block to his the, exit. If he saw that, I can, he kind of hit him again on the back. I don't know if he saw that. Yeah, but I also think it's the way Nick is ducking in with his head down, so most of the punches end up landing uh -huh. to the back of the head. You see, you see what I mean? Did you see that? Did you see yeah. that? Ooh. I knew he was setting up, setting him up for something by just tapping, mm -hmm. and uh, the uppercut oh. came in through the middle. Nick yeah. should be careful with the with the right cheek oh, right there. His uppercuts are landing all day because uh, when. When uh, Nick throws his, uh, his, his right cross, yes. he's leaning over and uh, giving an opportunity for Gabriel to throw the uppercut. All right. All right. Come to the Ooh, end of the second see, round. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. A fight that you enjoy with the legends in, inside the ring it's, right It's there. heating up now. Yes. I think they've already had a feel of uh, each other and what each one is doing yes. so i guess maybe now it's up to the coaches to get them like nick's corner uh -huh. they should probably talk to him about closing that exit okay that uh, gabriel keeps on using to exit out of the exchanges mm -hmm. after having landed so th that means they should be coming up on round three knowing each other very well like they need to Hopefully. be having another yeah because i can see even the speed and pace of punching yes has picked up uh, oh, I missed the round three. Come on. Oh. Come on. Okay. Okay. It's okay. HR it's okay. is calling me right now. <laughs> see, see, yes. there's the number. Uh, my... I, I got you, I got you. Hey, HR, I'm, I'm saying number three looks very nice. Yeah. <laughs> it looks to be a very nice round. Anyway. Let's go. Let's I love go. it. And I get, of course, a little bit of advice right there. Uh, Nico Tieno. With his coach who's been with him since he started boxing, they're, they're really good, close friends. Close friends, so he really trusts his coach 100%. Yeah, hopefully he has the best advice and uh, he makes this round his own. Round three. Gabriel is probing with a jab, you know, feeling, feeling him out. That, that left is is there all day mm -hmm. and of course you can see uh now nick is trying to push himself getting those points in he had him and okay. you can hear the crowd just telling nick to remove that right of course that right hand in <laughs> oh and there he goes <laughs> that was a little bit of showmanship from gabriel mm -hmm. you know with the i call it the fly swatter they ain't stopping man they keep on attacking and attacking I, it should go more to the body right there you know but keep his defenses up Now I think uh, this mm. round three kind of gives a little I bit think of He has an opportunity where he was yes. to land a huge right overhand because he was exiting to the left and he was very open. Uh, I'm saying Gabriel. Gabriel. But now he's out and uh, he's back to the corner. Oh, there we go. Then make Try it. and take a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. The clinch, you can rest up in the clinch. Nick is trying to go downstairs, which which is good. Uh, trying yeah. to take his arms down so that he can get he, the space for yes, a yes. hook. I think uh, if, if they were to go into the clinch, I, th I feel like uh, Nick will have more success yes. uh, rather than being peppered with shots from a distance. He should close down the distance with more jabs. You see, like that exit should try more to get him as he exits out. Ooh, that came yeah, in strong. 
Nice shot to the body when he was coming in on the half beat. How many bloods have we seen by the way on all these fights? Who? How many bloods have we, f have we seen on the fights tonight? A, a blood spill. Mm -hmm. yeah, my trousers can testify. <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing in the laundry bill that, that, to that, Ultra that, Fight that's Series. What, that's how it's supposed to be. Oh, no, to I didn't ringside. sign up for DNA on my trousers. <laughs> nope. Ooh. Nice exchange. Nick is trying to... He's going to the body more, which I love. Both of them are breathing heavily, but I think uh, Gabriel is feeling it. Seems like they know <laughs> how to keep their momentum. <laughs> uh oh, 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 oh. by now you're walking, <laughs> you're walking into something. Nick is stalking him, and I think he should keep him there. Don't let him exit. Good, you know. And I think Nick is also giving in, uh, enough uh, time to Gabriel to kind of recover for. Yeah. You know, and that's the problem. There. I like that. I like that they've sort of cut the exit to the left. Yes. And uh, they're getting him to move more to the right. Hopefully, if they go into the fourth, he can throw a huge overhand as uh, Gabriel exits to the left. Yes. And he might land, mm -hmm. he might land, because he's been conditioning him with, with the right punches, uh, with right, right crosses to the body. Ooh. And I was just checking up, uh, the, uh, there's a fight that Gabriel had in 2022. He faced off, of course, with a guy from Tanzania called Mbaruka Salemani. He's, he stood no chance. I, I saw that fight and, yo, only God could stop Gabriel in there. He was <laughs> like a buzzsaw. Yeah. You know, he ran right through him. There we go. That's why we call that round three. It's round uh, no, four, yeah, round four, round four, round four, round four, round four, round four, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay with me on the screen. Stay with me on the screen. It's four <laughs> rounds. <laughs> Jesus send help. <laughs> My brother Joyce. <laughs> Round number four. He's weak. Anyway. We better stay on the screens, guys. Concentrate on the screens. There we Off go. to round four. Uh, what, what was that from uh, Nick Cotieno? Did you see that? I'm telling you, for a uh, 50 year old, he's very spry. And I'm, I'm inspired. This is. He's inspiring you. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I might get back, but no, I like my face. Man, I, I, man, you know, no. you still look good for getting back no, to the box. No, 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 no. I love my face. <laughs> <laughs> it Nick is Lance. what it is. Woo, and here we go with the Close that exit. Close that exit. Oh. He's pushing him to the ropes. Man, it, Nick is really like he has. You see, as I told you, yes, he had a, that right overhand landed and it pushed him back. It's, it's like Nick is putting a lot of energy, like he's just storing power and power on that right hand. Yeah, he's cutting off the the ring quite uh, better than he was in the first two rounds. This is forcing Gabriel to move around more to reset, disengage, and try to find now angles mm -hmm. to come back in. Now Gabriel now is wasting time a little bit. I don't know if he's, he's buying time. time or, you know, it's a smart strategy. You know, to try maybe recover from. Yes. Uh, and Nick should take that advantage. Should, should probably pin him to the ropes. You know, have something that gets him to the ropes, pins him back, and then he can. Oh, Gabriel is escaping now. Gabriel I wouldn't do that. Time. Oh, he's tired. He's tired. I think Gabriel is tired. Yeah, he's trying to buy time. He's being. He's trying to be a short showman. But he might get him. Uh oh, he walked into oh, that like, one. Gabriel is joking around here. He's, he's even smiling about it. He's going to get caught. So uh, maybe he's sort of like mocking Nick now. I think Nick has realized uh, he can shut out. Uh, the, he can shut down the exit oh, with that advantage. left hook. I think Gabriel is just trying to mock here, Nick. He's trying to buy time, which. I don't know whether that's effective right now, seeing that uh, he's ended up using up more energy walking around. Yeah. Let's see if he has gotten a second, win Ooh. second wind. I love what Nick is doing here. Yeah. Oh my and goodness. See that? He's dipping, you Just know. keeps on going. And he's landed, out of the exchange, he's landed the better punches. I think this is uh, in the power department. Yeah. It's 50-50 because I think Nick has a very good chin. 
That was a nice check right hook by Gabriel. We're coming down to 20 seconds, down on the clock. Uh, Gabriel again is just moving away. Is Gabriel is tired, I guess. Oh, but yes. And he's, know, he's, he just he's putting be... himself in bad positions because okay. he's tired. You know, you can't go resting in uh -huh. front of an opponent who's just a jab away. He could you, be like taken down at any time. Great distance. Uh -huh. yeah. But uh, I'm really impressed by the way Nick uh, Nick Scadio is holding up. Yes. It seems like he's the fresher fighter. <laughs> Round five. Round five. Round five. Brought to you by Joe. <laughs> Man, my, 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 you know, I, 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 I love my book white. Did you know I'm legally blind? I can't see anything. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, um, my goodness. What a fight you know, here tonight. I can only see the fighters. I you can't can see anything see the, else. You can see the, you what know, are, are we on? Uh, uh, five, bro, five. five. I was concentrating Thanks. here. That's the why screens. you're the man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right open, right open. Round number five. <laughs> Round number five. Out of the ring, round uh, number have five. you noticed that we have yet to see blood or a cut in this I fight? I think they have kind of been impressive with the defenses. That's why maybe we haven't seen mm -hmm. any blood coming out. But mm -hmm. of course, with all the fighters we've seen, this is actually uh, uh, fight number. Um, wow. This is fight number five. Five. So all the four matches we have seen some blood. Yeah, three in three in three fights, and in one fight someone had their ribs stolen. So. Yeah. These guys are out there, oh. slugging it out. Nick is taking the outside angle very well. And Gabriel keeps on, of course, just making sure the defense is tight on his side. Ooh. That was a nice, that was a nice uh, right cross to the body. I, I'm, I'm, I, I haven't seen. Uh, I haven't seen Nick fight live, but okay. from what I've seen, if this guy had come up uh, in a different era, he'd be a contender. I, I think he has the skills. Yes. It's just a, you know, it is what it is. And there's something about uh, people who got inspired just getting bullied, you know, because I have noticed fighters who got bullied, they, they, they fight, bro. They bring in the energy. Yeah, you, you come in there with a cheap... Uh, off your shoulder, yeah. and you and you just want to uh, make the other person know that you know that you are not going to stand for the bullying. Yes. Yeah, and you're gonna put it on them. Ooh, now Gabriel. That was a huge uppercut. Turns him to the fence, uh, but he's let him off to the center of the ring. He had more time to press. Yeah, he should he have now, pressed him. Oh, now they're relaxing both of them a little Ooh. bit. I think they are both tired. Gabriel is breathing, he's breathing heavily. He is really tired. He's out. Gabriel is out. <laughs> is and I think Nick needs to take the Nick opportunity. Nick needs oh. to take it now. If he throws one like that, he's going to end up falling. I think he's gone. I think, I think it's Nick it's is wasting time. Yeah. He needs to take the advantage. Needs to trap those hands yeah. and come in with something big. Make Nick. him carry your weight. Yeah. You're very right. Oh, you see now, Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's, 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 he's trying to buy time. I think his, I think his cardio is off. Oh, you see, he's giving you an open face. Like, seriously, bro. Come on, Gabriel. Nick, Nick has a good chance of landing something. If Absolutely. He, if, he, if he just throws the cross, the cross uh, left hook, yeah. I'm sure he can catch him with it. I don't know why Gabriel keeps on putting his face onto him. He's, he's, he's trying to be a showman. Yeah. And he's you very see now, tired. Oh, you see, he's almost falling down. He yeah, gets to, you know what, I'm going to hold him. Tired. And it's showing. I wish, I wish someone could shout, you know, mm. uh, right cross, left hook. <laughs> and he's down. And he's down. Because when he's exiting to the left, he doesn't have now. any defense. And I think Gabriel is just awarding more points to Nick. He yeah, keeps on awarding more points to Nick. Nick round. I, I can't see, I can't see it for Gabriel. Yeah, and it's amazing. We're in the sixth round. This has actually this gone is the, the distance. This the final one. Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna. I, I I think Nick is taking this. I, I I think maybe maybe Gabriel does something unthinkable on round six, the last round. But at this moment, 
bro. He's of course speaking. Nick is speaking up this. I think towards the end of that stretch. Yes. Uh, in the in the. <laughs> Ted, Ted, be it, silent. It's round six. I, in the latter half of the fight, I think <laughs> <laughs> Nick Nick has, yeah. has really picked up the fight. That's what I'm talking our about. Our ring girl, Mikala Baraza, ever a permanent fixture in our Ultra Fight Series events. Last round, final round. Man, like, if you don't attend Ultra Fight Night Series, you know, events, yeah, you're missing out. If you don't get expi uh, inspired, not expired, mm -hmm. inspired to hit the gym, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, you see these boxers and wonderful ring girls, uh, I think maybe you might be inspired by, you know, Bajiers. <laughs> <laughs> and the final the round. Final round. Seems like Gabriel now has uh, gotten a little bit of that. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he has had, uh, you know, breathing power back. He's got his second legs, as they say in, in the boxing community. But I like the, the pressure, the pressure that Nick is putting on him with the jab in his face, yeah. and uh, the slip away. It's, it's really impressing me for his age. And it seems like Gabriel's power is on the life, no, of course, on the left. Sorry, on the left hand, right there. Yes. And uh, Nick's is on the right. Yep. And I think he needs to find a way to la uh, to get it to that destination. Yeah. That was a, that, that missed by. A, a few centimeters. That check left too, as Gabriel was ex exiting. Yeah, he has him here. <laughs> and I think he can. You know, oh, he got it perfectly. Nick just got that. that nice of course, uh, right check hook. Incredible. Uh, oh. Walks into and the crowd is a bit of separated here because uh, we can hear noises for Nick, noises for Gabriel, and everybody shouting, just hit that left, hit that right. Yeah, the, their fans have really stepped, come in today to support them. Nice exchange at the ropes. Nick Oril. Oh, now Gabriel's getting back here. Cotiano is, is, is doing a fantastic job, you know. Oh, nice, uh, incredible uh, a hook right there coming from Nick. Jab. Oh, okay. The uh, clash momentarily. I think it's because of the foot position. And almost Nick was almost going goo goo gaga, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Nearly walked into something terrible. We're in the last 30 seconds of this fight. And so far, I think it's been, uh, for me, it's been 50-50 in terms of uh, what, uh, Gabriel using his feet to move around the ring and Otieno trying to cut off the ring using his jab, you know. But Gabriel is always uh, in position with his check. Why? Gabriel just stands there. The referee right is like, come on, give me some fight here. The, and the time is over. And the time is over. I think, I think Gabriel is just like, okay, you know what? I did my three rounds perfectly. Uh, two that, rounds. That's, that's usually not a good look on the judges' scorecard. Absolutely. You look like you're taking time off instead mm -hmm. of when you just stand and uh, you, you know, you're trying to buy time. He may not look good on uh, most of his spots. And they could be awarding uh, Nick on this one now. I think Nick is going to win this one uh, because of just the simple, you know, mocking mistakes from Gabriel. I feel in the, in the last four rounds of this fight, okay. Nick was consistent with his work. He wasn't looking for one shot, yeah. you know, counters. He was actually trying to get in there and uh -huh. uh, work off some combinations, cut off the ring, and I think generally showed uh, proper, uh, like, very, like, good, yes. you know, good uh, ring generalship. And, and it's really good that the two of them, they, they have proved to everybody, you know what, as much as we've gone the six rounds, 
Uh, we have done what we have done. We have thrown in our punches. It was still a good sportsmanship from both of them. They yeah. do respect each other. They t they remind me of uh, Manny Pacquiao and uh, Marquez. Uh -huh. They fought four times, okay. and in three times, you know, Gabriel. Oh uh, no, sorry, uh, Pacquiao won three times, okay. but it was often disputed. Mm. But when they met for the fourth time, Pacquiao got KO'd by yeah, Ma uh, Marquez. <laughs> so Don't probably fall. we could see. Man, if... come on, director. You need those replays <laughs> right there. No, we are actually concentrating on the fight. <laughs> that was an exchange that they had, and you could see uh -huh. from uh, Gabriel's body that he was really feeling the heat in terms of the pressure and yeah. the punches. And also, like you say, that the two fights. When we started off with the two rounds, Gabriel was going in so quick, so fast sort of like looking for an easy victory, a, a quick way to win by maybe just trying to knock out Nick. Yeah. But maybe it ended up not happening, you know. His plan didn't end up working the way maybe he planned to do it. Yes. Uh, when, when you try to do, you know, the showmanship stuff, yes. at least you should be scoring mm -hmm. so that it gives, you know, the judges something to look at. But if you're doing it and uh, there's nothing, that's deterring your opponent from coming in. Yes. It might go another way in the judges' scorecard. Uh, as you wait for the final decision, I think it's your, it's you up there, Joe. Go give us the final scores of this fight. An interesting fact about Nico Tieno is his fourth. Gary Antonio Russell, who's the younger brother to Gary Antonio Russell, who's a featherweight, uh, a featherweight champion. He's a champion in the featherweight division internationally. And so you could also see from how he's moving around the ring that this is someone who has been around the game and who has fought, uh, who has fought some of the best in his career. So we waited. Wait for the judge's verdict, and uh, it, sh it shouldn't be controversial, but uh, I, I think uh, Nico Teno has this in the bag, but uh, we leave this to the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, judge number one, 58-56. Judge number two, 60-55. Judge number three, 55-59. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by anonymous point decision is Gabriel, 
mepatana mepatana mara ya tatu saa hii si ndio imekuwaje umeonaje hiyo vile mmepatana hii mara tatu how was the fight nimeshukuru uh, mungu sana kwa fight ya leo kwa kwa ndajizi betika fight ya leo tulijiandaa vizuri tulikuwa na kotuli yako kina wanga ambapo tulikuwa tunajua vizuri tunaenda kupatana na mwenye tushaipatana na yeye kwa hivyo tulikuwa tunala kwa zile vitu tulikosea mbeleni at least tuweze kufaulu amazing na pia mafans wamekuja kukuona mafans wako pia wako area na zawaambia acha nyo kwa area hapa hivi naweza kusema mafans wangu ni washukuru sana kwa nipea support tukue hivyo hivyo na shukuru rafiki yangu sana tena promoter wangu Aizo na kushukuru sana umenishikilia tuendelee kuwa hivyo hivyo Make some noise for Gabriel Chang